This topic is zinc and after iron, zinc is the second most abundant trace mineral in the body and it has a number of very important functions. First of all, it is one of the antioxidant nutrients and it's really involved in the healing process. It's extremely good for the skin. It's very, very good indeed for prostate problems in men as we get older. In fact, it can help enormously if you're troubled by having to get up in the middle of the night for a tinkle. Taking zinc can address that very seriously and very helpfully both for men as well as women. A symptom of zinc deficiency is actually if you get white spots on the nails and that will tell you. Um, zinc itself is a constituent of more than 2,000 enzymes involved in the digestive metabolism. We're not getting enough in the diet because of soil exhaustion, uh, because of farming methods, food processing. Also, the absorption of zinc is lessened if people are taking calcium, so that's perhaps particularly relevant to women of a certain age. And when you take any mineral, it's the form that is important. And here, something called chelation or chelation is what people know about when a mineral is bonded to an amino acid. But in the case of food state, which is perhaps better absorbed even than that, the zinc is beneficially combined in a base of lactobacillus, which is of course one of the good probiotics as we all know and that is native to the human GI tract and in this way it comes complete with all the associated food factors all the amino acids and all the other nutrient carriers so it's extremely well absorbed and because copper will compete for the same cell entry site it's always a good idea if you're taking zinc to have a bit of copper so the ideal amount is perhaps to have 15 milligrams of elemental zinc and alongside it, hopefully in the same tablet, one milligram of copper.